Sky. My name is Mo Chava. And we're doing the Energy Water Rockets Topic 4 Challenge. The problem, in our own words, is how can we build a rocket that is capable of going high in the air? An example of forces acting upon the rocket is gravity. The constraints are that we have a certain amount of time, we have limited materials, and we have forces acting upon the rocket. The requirements in this challenge are we will be using an air pump and a 2 liter bottle to build a water rocket in 25 minutes. Our goal will be to create the rocket that can go highest in the air and we cannot put holes in the 2 liter or it will not work. We also have to think about the force or forces that may prevent the rocket from going as high and how we can minimize these forces. I determine the height by using the formula d equals 1 half gt to the power of 2 and plugging in the values. The amount of each type of energy is ek was 6 miles per second, eg was 11,066.25, ed was 4 joules, and the total energy was 11,176.25. The amount of each type of energy at the launch of 2 meters was EK was 6 miles per second, EG was 1,362, ED was 4 joules, and ET was 1,372. The conservation of energy keeps the total energy the same throughout the launch, so it's easier to calculate the kinetic energy. In the, in the rocket's flight, the energy was dissipated when the rocket came to the floor and made a complete stop. If we did this again, we would improve our rocket by gluing the fins or wings of the rocket lower.